Well, hello, boys and girls, and welcome to the stream of a patron, a city builder game, which you are going to play for the next two hours, let's say. Uh, let's say information about this game. Uh, find it on Steam, and we are definitely uh, going to play it and enjoy it now. And since you will be watching this, if you liked it, definitely go to the Steam, they have it, find it on Steam, download their demo, which is actually constantly updated. It's kept for two hours. We are going to today. We today we are going to play for two hours. So this, uh, also the demo of this game is going to be two hours long. And check it out. Check it out. Enjoy it. Put it on a wish list. That of course, if you like it, when the game is going to be out, buy it and enjoy it for sure. So let's start. Let's start the stream. And let's enjoy ourselves for the next two hours and hopefully I will not get killed in the first year, right? Uh, you can call your town name however you want to. The, man, the banners are cool. Hey, <laughs> I'm gonna choose this one. It's cool. So, continue. Volcano, nope, uh, but check it out. Each map Soil fertility, or a richness, weather. This is high, high tropical. Go to the North Peak. Low soil fertility. High order. Cold. That means that winter is like freezing. Medium, low tropical for our, our, our archipelago, right? Yeah. Fjords of iron. Medium, high cold. Highlands, low, medium cold. So each map has its own thing. And I would like to play Mediterranean map because I like Mediterranean. So uh, this is what we are going to play. Let's continue. Ah, this is something that you, if you want easy, if you want it normal, hard play also. Let's let's take normal. <laughs> and let's enjoy uh, I'm gonna let's say uh, and I say let's say a lot so let's say I will not say let's say a lot <laughs> but uh, consider this uh, uh, stream as something of a, I'm gonna pause it uh, something of a how to survive the first year the first year is crucial uh, and you need to have things, let's say, in balance for you to survive, otherwise people will die and you will need to start again. So, hopefully I will be able to help you with this. Uh, okay, this is toggle status window. This is something you're going to keep your eyes constantly on. Um, coins, tools, stone, iron, food. Most, most crucial parts are food, lumber and firewood, okay? Call later on, but this is something that you need to be paying attention to. This is your residence. It's ten adults, six young, and three children. Five families, five families, five houses to build. Seven families, seven houses to build. This is how you know how many houses do you need. But the main point is adults are your workforce. Okay? Not youngs, not children, adults. Youngs do some kind of works, but uh, some kind of work, but not that much. It's mostly picking up something, uh, so it's like not big of an influence as adults. You need to pay attention to adults. Adults are your workforce. Okay, so what do we need? What we need is to build the houses at the start. And here we have, let's, let's show where we are. Let's show the map. It's quite nice. This is where we are. And this is actually where we are going to build the town. It's cool view all like this. I mean the the game is really it's really nice with the graphics. Like flowers. This bell in front. See this? Cool. Like flowers and bags here. Stored. 
See, that's cool. That's cool graphics, man. That's cool graphics. So, okay. Let's build houses. Houses are what people need, okay? Uh, again, just a little bit about the panel up here. Jobs board, where you see your whole workforce and where you can manage it, okay? Research. Name says it all. It's research. So this is something that you are not going to be paying attention much at the beginning of the game. Once you get established with uh, with the, with the, and self self sufficient with your food, lumber, and firewood, then you can start to think about okay, I need this and that. You know, these two these two first researchers are something that we are going to probably research quite fast, and later on, this is all down the line. Town hall is exactly what it, what it says. The town hall, something that's the same as me clicking on the town hall. Additional panels, stock, residence, annual, and this is something that is view. Uh, it it's helpful. Why? It's build grid. So this is where you can build. This is where you cannot build. Okay. Again, let's click another one. Soil fertility grid. So soil fertility grid helps you. It's used for farms and uh, Forester is also if it's built in a soil, soil fertility grid I think that the trees are actually growing a little bit faster than it would be growing here or here So production of lumber is faster And ore grid, right? So this is where you have good amount of ore And this is where you don't have such a good amount of ore and the quality So you're going to mine more in these green areas so this is how you can, let's say, also plan your future moves in uh, industry buildings. Okay, so let's start again. For the how many? It's also G, key. So hopefully I will hit a G spot a couple of times. My bad jokes, just bad jokes, right? <laughs> That's what she didn't say that I hit the G spot. <laughs> Naughty boy. Okay, let's play. <laughs> Enough with that. Okay, let's build houses. Of course, each one of you has a different, uh, let's say, vision of how your town is going to be built. So, disregard my builds. Be just build it how you like it. But still, you know, of course, as every city builder, builder game, you need to have some kind of vision of how you want it to be in let's say hour five, hour six. Or you're going to maybe demolish this first couple of buildings and have in mind that you're going to build something else here later down the line. It's all optional. Let's continue to play. Let's speed up the game, let's say times two. And now the people are starting to build. And it, this is cool as you, as you put building to, to be built they actually automatically chop the trees. Cool, you don't have to do it. They're doing it for you. Okay, what else do I need? Because uh, at the beginning, this is April, okay? Time really goes fast, you're not paying attention. Winter is right around the corner. And if you don't have enough firewood, you are gonna have problems, right? Winter is going to come, people are going to be freezing. So actually, quite fast at the beginning, you need to pay attention to fire, right? And to lumber intake. Uh, lumber intake is not a problem, you don't need to... This is production buildings, so this is where you can build depot, which we're going to build right away because they need to store all these resources. Gather a shelter for food, definitely going to be built right away. Hunting lodge, probably going to build one. Forester's hut, also you can build one. For sure. Sawmill, must. It's a must. And Herbalist Hut, uh, yes, no, if you liked it, but for me, I'm always, let's say, rolling the dice that some, that some crazy disease doesn't struck in the first year and my old people die. It's risk taken from my part, right? So, let's continue to play. And I said that we need to build something. That's actually gather a shelter. And as you see, gather a shelter has its work efficiency and it's strictly strictly based upon the woods so you need to have 
woods to build it and to work it pro to and for the gatherer's shelter to work properly. Sorry again for my mumbling. Hopefully you can understand what I, what I am saying and how I'm saying it and what I'm actually communicating to you. Okay, let's build roads. Why? Because people walk faster during the roads. Again, for building roads, I'm hitting the G and I'm building roads. Okay, and I'm gonna build this like this. Uh, connect it like this and I'm going to probably connect it with together a shelter like this let's see where am I where am I I'm here okay click you see cool there are also as you build the roads workers will automatically chop the trees in a way so you don't have to think about that I'm going to build this So cool. Uh, uh, why was I saying about, remember that I said something about Forester's Hut. You can actually, you see, clear buildings and resources. You can gather trees with your workers. You cannot gather trees. You cannot gather food with your workers. You need production for food. So that is why actually at the beginning I am always preferring to build gather a shelter and maybe maybe forester's hut in the first year because in the first year I can because I have a vision of a place okay let me just pause a little bit I have a vision of how I'm going to build this place and I know that this whole area of trees is going to be cut anyways so I can actually cut this without having a forester's hut here but if you want to build forester's hut also, you see, he also has this circle around the house where he actually has work efficiency. So, also, you see, depending on the trees around. The cool thing about the forest is hut, let's say, later on down the game, you can build it here. It's 77% work efficiency, right? So, in the first year, while well, he's going to chop the trees and let the trees grow back, because this is how in this game Forester's hut uh, and Forester is operating, he actually cuts all the trees and then plants the new trees to grow. He can actually plant all these trees in all this open area, right? And it's going to be forest. But you're gonna have to sustain the first year of having really low production of lumber. So I don't want this, but yeah, let's say in the future, uh, your, in your future play, down the line, okay, I'm going to start the game, so it continues. You can, let's say, go here with the forest's hut and you can sustain a first year of having a little bit lower income of the lumber, but later on he's going to plant trees all around that area so you're going to have a forest part there which you didn't have before okay what else do I need I actually need a sawmill which I'm going to build actually let me build the roads here again G build the roads uh, around around here and 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 sawmill let's going to build it Let's build it here. Okay. Game is going. I'm going to speed up to times five. So we actually see some progress, right? Let's move the G. And you see the graphics of the game are quite cool for me, right? Uh, let me just pause it a little bit as I'm showing you the graphics. Like the trees are cool, looking the palm trees, normal trees, and the pines. Oh, this is the house. Actually, I can put two workers here. You can actually control from a certain for the certain industry. You can add, control it from the building. And you can control it from the jobs part. Actually, we are going to put a carrier here. Okay. Uh, explanation about the carriers. Carriers are specialist workers dedicated to carrying resources around the town, as the, as the text says, right? To and from the warehouses and production buildings. So, use carriers. Don't be afraid to 
not to use them, use them. But you also have to have in mind that uh, out of 10 workers, which are adults, you need to have, let's say, 20% is some, let's say, number where you actually need to have workers left around, not be, not all of them having uh, employed somewhere, a couple of workers just to have it laying around because they actually also help with the bringing of the production uh, resources to, to your storage. If you actually are missing that workers, I need to build, I need to build, I need to build a depot, I'm gonna build it here. If you're actually missing that workers, the resources that are actually produced in the industry buildings of whatever kind, food, lumber, whatever, they take longer to come. So actually you can have, let's say, a mismatch of your people need something, let's say that your people need food, but actually your free workers with carriers are not fast enough to bring a ton of food that is stored in, let's say, in a gatherer shelter, and now you have a problem. Now, now people are starving, and actually your food is just standing there in a the gatherer shelter, not being able to be uh, brought all the way to the depot, because why? Because you don't have enough workers left around to do that kind of job okay let me put this game on a on a on continuation okay we're gonna build a depot also here near the gathering shelter so we actually cut cut down on the time of uh, people walking all the way from here to let's say this depot it's going to be here because depot is having a shared storage so whatever people bring here, you can automatically have it available here, okay? <coughs> so this is something that helps actually, right? You it's, it's interconnected. So it helps with the game, okay? This, you see firewood. Uh, firewood is actually constantly used by the people in the houses for food daily and in the winter times for heating. And in the winter times is when firewood really starts to be important 35 potatoes potato oh my god oh man mashed potato with turkey damn I'm hungry <laughs> okay this is where people come here soon enough uh, this is where I have it okay let's let's expand on this for sure I don't want to have a low amount of food actually I'm going to do also this man treasury empty that's cool treasury is going to be full because money is coming constantly from the houses see income 120 a year 60 per people that uh, per worker inside the house so William and heaven is <laughs> is having uh, uh, there are two workers that actually bring the bring the uh, money let's say to your town and four residents two kids so also four people in this house four people in this house in this house in this house three and this house four so let's continue This is something that I will probably maybe upgrade, okay? Uh, because I need to be on a safe side that I will have enough fire. But it's May and uh, let's say, I think winter starts, let's say, September, I think November. It's going to be like really. Really cold. So then then that is the time when you really need the firewood. And I now I have seven firewood. Remember, as I said, monthly use 32, and that's from last month. That means that people are starting to cook food and you, they actually need firewood for that. And they're going to spend it. So I need to have a good production of, of firewood. How, how am I going with the jobs? Five, so that means I probably have three more workspaces to, to go through. Uh, what I can do actually also is can okay, constantly change checking this I can actually 
probably I can do fisherman's hut. Fisherman's hunt, hut and I'm definitely going to gather more trees for sure. There you go. Let's go boys. And like okay let me just pause a little bit like graphics are for me like really cool they really are I mean I uh, you can you can lose the the beauty of graphics in this game the cool the coolness really because you're so uh, so focused on survival but but check out these details like like really cool man Look at this, the bags here. People trying to beauty, have some beauty with the flowers. Boxes here. Houses also with, with the storage. Oh, look at this. How, the houses are beautiful, ain't they? Really nice. <laughs> but they are really cool. Also have pottery. Cool. Really cool. Let me continue. Really cool. And like people are chopping trees. Oh, this woman like really like I'm amazed. Like this is a real woman. Like she chops the tree. Just put it on her back and like let's go boys. Who's faster? Bam! Well, you know that the man inside her house is not going to be loud. <laughs> he's going to be a good boy. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to be all hell breaking loose. <laughs> okay, so we have this, this. Uh, okay, now I need to think. Do I need something else? Do I need? I have a. I have. I actually. I need to have a little bit more coin so I can actually put another guy in a sawmill so I am safe with the with the firewood with the food. I am kind of okay. See, monthly used 129, 100 produced. Also, I need to expand on this. And large baskets. Uh, the thing about this game, you cannot rush it, okay? You cannot rush it. You cannot rush it. You need to have time. This is not something. Uh, and I said this before. Uh, like, uh, this is not Starcraft. This is not Warcraft. This is not something that if you do everything right in a fifth minute and some twentieth second, you can do this, or in a third minute. This is something that you need to wait. You need to wait for the people to come in the town so you can have more jobs so you actually can build something. So actually at the beginning of this game, why this is important at the beginning, you actually need to plan things. Plan for things. Because you need to have that balance. So I'm thinking, do I want to build a fisherman's hut? Right? Do you want to be the fish? Do you want to build? Uh, do I want to build a fisherman's hut or do I want to upgrade the sawmill right now? And I will actually upgrade the sawmill and put the one guy here. And actually, next thing for me, next move is building a fisherman's hut. 40 coins. That's going to be pretty fast, I think. I have only 30 lumber. Again, that's my risk. I didn't build. Oh, thank you, King man. 30 corn. So uh, actually they need to uh, build a cinema here so we can all have popcorn or some play some theater and that's a long this 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 village is a long way from a theater <laughs> a long long way so okay uh, 34 I'm just waiting for this fisherman let's see my my jobs I have still four that means two slots are free for sure to to put somewhere and one of them is going to be in a fisherman's hut. And as you see, this game is also can go time stand speed. In the first year, 
it's really crucial that you have everything in balance and I will not go 10 speed, just let me survive this, fir this first year and then later on, actually I'm going to build Fisherman's Hut here. Let me survive uh, the first year to have everything in balance and then later on I will go with times 10 because once you have things checked, then you can feel a little bit more safe that you can speed up and not be like, oh no! I forgot about this thing, which is actually the reason why all of my people are starting to die. Bad move. So, rain. Cool. See, even the sound is nice. And the music is, is, is soothing, really. The music is soothing. Oh, this is like the fish spot, spot, spots as you see. And uh, you have to remember, this is not the finished game which I am actually now playing, right? Remember that from the start. This is something that is still in the works. Cool, they are actually bringing the... Oh, nice. Cool, cool. This is something that's still in the works, so there are a lot of things... Uh, Small, let's say, more graphical things missing. Okay, cool. Let's say uh, fishing boats going out, probably towards this to fish. This bird. Also, one cool thing that you're going to use through the game: a press T button, which is actually actually here on a view. See, show high trees, boom. And now you can see if you want to build something. And you can also see these little things. Let me pause the game. Boar layer, right? Placing hunter lodges near boar layer will increase the lodge's efficiency. Something when I will start to build hunting lodge, you will see that you actually need to have in mind that they need to be in the circle of the hunting lodge. Let me put this tree back. How much? I have three workers. Hunting Lodge spends 60 iron. I have 50. But as you see, you can actually... This is a rock. Tree. I think there is iron here, right? I think, yeah, resource is five. Rock, resource is five iron, right? This is also rock, resources 6, stone. So cool. You can, you can pick this up uh, with, uh, with clear buildings and resources. Get a stone, get a metal. So this is convenient, helpful. Thank you developers for my new best uh, survive. See, you can just gather like this. Same as the trees and people come, the free workers three of them sturdy nets I think I will going to upgrade this and uh, have one more oops wrong panel job support I think I have one more worker open and I think I can maybe even build a hunter hunting lodge 50 coins Okay, it's September. Uh, the food drops during the during the winter time. So maybe even I actually need to just upgrade this gatherer shelter all the way. Just put all in gatherer shelter and survive the winter with this. Okay, gather trees. I need trees. Okay, this is less firewood. But the winter is coming. This is somehow a familiar thing to say winter is coming. I don't know from where. Just can't remember.
So, let me just go a little bit more faster. People are cutting trees, that's cool. Firewood is going to be produced, that's cool, because I will need it. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. The changing of the seasons. That's cool. Okay, I have plenty of food, 512. But, but, but. It's, it's, oh, that's cool. Okay, but, 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 but. For sure. Okay, let me continue. For sure, I want this number to be bigger. For sure. And the next upgrade is going to be me upgrading large baskets. And also let's chop just a little bit more trees. Then I need to upgrade these large baskets and when I upgrade these large baskets I think I am actually set to survive the first winter, right? Because I have enough food, hopefully enough firewood, hopefully we will see this. And uh, I think this is going to be enough for me to survive the first, the first winter. I have, we see one young have became, has become an adult. So that means that I have more, see, click. That means that I have more people open to be as carriers, that's cool, that means that The resource is going to be brought even faster. And this is something I don't want, that I wanted. Okay. So gather a shelter full steam ahead, fully upgraded. Uh, during the winter times, production of food drops rapidly. That's something that you need to have in mind. That you have plenty of food stored so your people can survive the winter. See how long it takes for them to chop these trees. Why? Because you have only two workers here doing this. With all of them, with carriers, delivering all these goods, it takes time. It takes time. See, this woman actually is, broading, is bringing 60, one of that 60 lumber upkeep during the year. That was her actually bringing that log. Oh, that's a cool, also a cool thing. This is like snowing, a sunken ship. Oh, a ship has sunk off the coast of our fair city. We should send a search party and see what they can find. Organize a search and rescue party, focus on helping any survivors. Um, yeah. I want workforce and that's three adults, but the thing is three adults actually also spend resources. But I think that my production that I put in the food and in the firewood can sustain five more mouths. Which is actually almost 25% more. So I'm gonna do this, pause the game. And now I'm going to actually build two more houses. Okay, I'm gonna wait a little bit more for the coins. I'm gonna wait a little bit more for the coins. They need they they should probably come pretty fast. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bring me that coins. That was a risk for me. A calculated risk, but still, nevertheless, a risk. Treasury empty, I know that. Probably I will need to do even more like this. The 
cut even this tree, three trees off, and maybe I could even build a forester now. I have five workers, I will have money, hopefully, and I will have 700 food. I think that's pretty much good the number for us to sustain the, the winter time and to survive with 471 firewood lumber I'm good with I can always chop this two of them are here dude if I need the third house that's going to be fun to see hopefully not let's see see again like houses really look cool A fox. Here. Now look at this crap. Come on! <laughs> Get him! I want some crab soup. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. And what it, it would be really cool that this bird actually grabs the crab. <laughs> and you see fight in the air. Ah, that's cool. That's really cool. This is actually a fox lair, right? Yeah. That is really cool. Let's see. I don't need any more houses. That's also really good. Uh, insulation. This is something that I was thinking about doing, but uh, it's for spending firewood, of course. See? Firewood and coal upkeep because Houses actually also uh, spend coal later on if when you're going to have a coal mine Your houses will actually prefer coal over firewood to spend it for heating and for cooking Okay, what did I say I say that I need lumber this is what I said I need more lumber so that's this This is happening because as I said Either way, this is going to be chopped, so I can use it like this. And I can definitely build a forester's hut as soon as I get this lumber. And be careful not to use, uh, like, demolished buildings or something, so you don't just scroll. Oh, let me just chop all this, boom! And there goes your village, right? <laughs> Just be careful about that. Forest is hot. Come on, come on, boys. I need that lumber. Oh, you see, he probably needs lumber. So he probably needs that lumber for the upkeep, which I don't nah, which I don't currently have. See? Probably. But okay, forest is hot. Forest is hot. I will plan building forest is hot here. Outside my city. But still, let's say close enough so I can rely on this forest's hut being there for, let's say, a while, right? Okay, and I will build a road towards him. Okay. Let's hit the grid. Okay, him here, and I will actually build if I can. Let's see. Can I? Can I? Shelter, nah, I don't need shelters. Depot, one depot right about here. <sighs> Again, people living here, also that work in the forest aside, they also need to walk here, so you also have to think about that stuff, right? Because uh, once you build it like over here, it's going to be probably probably a smart thing to do. Just to build one house or two houses here. People are not going to be as happy as here, but... Also, one thing. As soon as I said happiness, I had to... Let's say I need to pause this and just just give you a little snippet of it. Uh, this is actually like happiness bar, but that happiness bar is actually depending on social dynamics. Which you see here. Health, safety, immigration, loyalty, religion, education, basic goods, luxury goods, taxes and housing. So each of these numbers for each of these let's say points, luxury goods and so on, is depending on how you build the town. Right? And what 
resources you have, you have in town and what decisions you're going to make as a mayor with, uh, and this is my bad that I didn't explain, but let's say in a sunken ship option, you actually have pluses and minuses which actually dire directly are influencing this social issues, right? It's social dynamics, we call it social, dyna uh, social dynamics, but let's call them uh, what they are called here, social issues, right? So each event is actually going to have something that's going to, let's say, go give you health, but it's going to take you away from religion, let's say. So it's like always a balance. This game is all in a balance. You need to be thinking about the balance, you need to be thinking in advance, you need to be thinking on how your town is going to develop and have everything in balance as you go further along. Because this balance later on down the game, later, later on down the game, is going to cost you dearly if you are not going to pay attention towards it. Okay, let me just speed up a little bit. Now when we are in January, we have plenty of firewood, we are really good and solid on the food. Don't, don't forget, like, food production really drops uh, during the winter and I... I just went all in in a gatherer's shelter. I went all in. He is fully, fully upgraded. The king says his regards. Well, thank you, king. All hail the king. Full ship of goods, stone 33. That's cool, it's gonna help. Stone is going to be used for something. But again, I went all in and I'm gonna gather a shelter. Why? Because I played it a couple more times before. I So so let's say I, I, I know a little bit more, but that's why you also can view this as, let's say, sort of helping, helping you get through the first year of how to do how to how to how to survive okay also this is something that I want to expand on but I don't have any lumber so I will actually go here get more trees you're gonna get at this okay uh, as you see I actually would gather more trees uh, am I wrong So this is kind of weird what happened, but okay. This is also everything you see here that's kind of like weird. Guys are going to work on it. They're going to be small bugs, probably visual uh, for you also as I'm going to play uh, as I'm going to play this game. But trust me, they were, they are constantly daily, daily, daily working on this to have the everything everything fixed. So even now, game is like. Smooth sailing. Smooth sailing. So this is actually something that I want to do. For production of uh, of lumber. And uh, it's March is actually the time where winter is going to slowly stop be having an impact, right? So I think I can actually... Yeah, I have five. Um, a hundred and a thirty... Yeah, this is something I will definitely do. And probably I can even expand on one more worker. So I have this covered. And hopefully I will have good amount of trees. Good amount of trees during the year. You see, I'm constantly, I mean lumber. Uh, I'm constantly in minus. Why? Because of my calculated risk, right? right? First year, I survived first year. Pretty, let's say, it looks easily, but this is all for me trying to survive and having some kind of problem so I managed to thought about this let's forget about forest is hot I can chop trees which are going to be chopped anyways and we are actually going to use that workers in some other industries let's say gather a shelter and firewood so we're gonna see uh, you can also always you see reduce the number of citizens working in a profession you can always cut one worker down which actually maybe you don't need firewood during the winter uh, during the spring and uh, and uh, summer and autumn uh, so you can let's say reduce now sawmill worker and if you need worker somewhere else you can put that same worker from the sawmill towards the new industry that you are actually building so also keep that in mind 
there is also that kind of dynamic of, let's say, constantly switching workers from job to job. What else do I want to do? Uh, we have quite a good amount of food. Forest is that is something that we'll actually be needing. We will be needing this. And we shall see how this will go. Uh, I can also gather all this, gather stone and gather metal. So everything is picked. I think I have, I'm quite good with, uh, with the food. There are fishes, there are strawberries, there are roots. Lumber started to go. That's cool. Oh, this is a bear. Bear lair. Well, uh, it's a good thing that actually animals don't don't attack people, because this is like a high IQ play for me, right? <laughs> Where you gonna build? Well, right next to the bear lair. Why not? <laughs> it will feel completely safe. Because we all know that bears are just eating honey and singing bear necessities, right? <laughs> Storage problems. Our foremen are reporting that there was a rat infestation in one of our warehouses. Really? We've lost some goods, unfortunately. It is their job to ensure things do not happen. If they fail, they can settle the difference. Happiness, minus 15. The other option is, such things happen, tell them to make sure it doesn't happen again. I lose 20, 100 roots, but I gain happiness 5. Spanky spank, I am risking it. Your job, and let's see, 72. Bye. You're down. So, again, balance, right? This is your choice as a mayor. So as a mayor, you also have, with these events, direct influence of how your people are going to feel in the town. This is also something that you get with certain buildings. For instance, pause. You see this? This is also inside the house. Luxury goods. This is like the main thing how I'm going to describe this, right? Your citizens want finer things in life. What those things are depends on how high on the social ladder they are, right? I have all peasants here right now. And peasants want what? They want clothes, pottery and furniture. So inside my research, a cap, uh, carpenter's hut, I think I'm saying it that right, right? Carpenter's hut. <laughs> Man, my English, I'm killing it. <laughs> because sometimes if you go too fast and it's kind of that kind of complicated word that I'm not usually saying each day, it's kind of blah, 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 blah. So, production of furniture. This is something that uh, the peasants are going to consider a luxury item, right? Clothes shop, a luxury item. Clothes shop is producing what? Boots. That produce clothes. <laughs> it's like in the first grade. Teacher, teacher. <laughs> so, and laborers want beer, tob tobacco, and something else with this probably calcium, right? This is also in works, so. <laughs> so, this is something that we said what did they want, but for now, beer and tobacco. And this is something actually uh, down the line with actually upgrade of this research with all this research getting researched with gathering hall that actually opens up a new set of researches right somewhere here you see pottery workshop for pottery you see field crop for farms actually i think the gathering hall get gathering hall actually has allows the planting of wheat fields and apple orchards so with gathering hall you actually have farms so that's cool Small farms, but still nevertheless farms. 
And let's say that once you get to the farms, probably you are set on food. Uh, depending on how fast then you're gonna, going to have your populace building and coming in and coming in and get, getting larger and larger. And then you actually also you need to be thinking about, okay, winter is going to come as I will start thinking about the winter. And as winter is coming, I need to have food stored in my storage and have plenty of food so my people can survive. I'm talking a lot, but like to explain this game how much you have to think about each move, it's it's kind of like that. Yeah, you have to babble, babble, babble. Uh, <coughs> next move probably is going to be, because I want to expand on my town, uh, probably is going to be, let's see, let's see, let's see, uh, probably a, a quarry and then a mine. Uh, and... Uh, and then from mine I can build toolsmith because I, because then I can produce tools and tools I actually used for building other buildings and actually used as upkeep for some buildings. So this is also something that you need to have in mind. Uh, it's July. My my sawmill is working good. I think I will actually let's say let's upgrade this. Installation. I have the money and I don't care. I want even less, 25% less spendage of firewood during the winter times. That means that probably now I could actually maybe remove this worker and put it somewhere else. Research done. It's mine. What can I do with it? I can build iron mine and coal mine. And for iron mine, I have 90, 99. T lumber each year. I think. Is this manageable? Do I produce that kind of amount of lumber with all my 480? Yeah, okay. This is a prediction. And this is a prediction. Why? Because now people are actually having some lumber to chop. But once they chop it, they need to grow. You see these small things? Well, they all need to grow to a big big tree that takes time so now your production prediction is high but once you chop all this down it's not going to be that number so this is something don't get fooled this is something that is tricky it's the seat they lie <laughs> Also, let's see, um, I I'm not going to do this for now, decorative, but this construction good is something that I'm definitely going to use. Uh, it's enacting a policy in that increases production of quarries, coal mines, iron mines and forest stuff, which is important because I need this production for lumber, toolsmiths and brickworks. So this is a decree, this is a policy which actually you can implement from the townhouse from the decrees and I actually am starting to research this one and that 20% is going to come in real handy so this is something I'm actually planning to do uh, the game is not fast at the beginning not at all so research done boom boom 20% construction goods. Yes, baby, yes. That means that probably I can maybe even build one more forester's hut. Let's see. Uh, yep, for sure. 15 workers, four of them. I can definitely use probably even two. Like to gamble a little bit, but I think two is minimum of a minimum that, that, I, that I can actually leave uh, not working anywhere. So, forester's hut. To upgrade this can I upgrade this I mean not can I but will I is it smart I think it is I really do think it is I really do think it is yeah uh, again I didn't point this out but you don't have to just build buildings right each building has an upgrade something that I didn't point out because I'm all I did a couple of more streams for these guys uh, so this is something that I already was speaking about before for other guys from live stream, but now as we are doing this for as a recording, this is something that I actually need to point out for all of you guys now watching this. 
watching my ass play right now, right? So, so this, and you see, for this last planting upgrade, it actually gives me uh, planting speed same as uh, production speed, which actually is going to be a balance. And I now, now we don't have any balance. So now, you see, five tools. Now watch this. Watch this happen. Okay. Uh, you, you don't maybe you maybe don't need iron mana at the beginning because you can pick iron from the floor, right? But toolsmith, if I put it 150 on toolsmith and I build it, and toolsmith is here, look at the upkeep. Look at the upkeep. 200 coal and 200 iron. 200 iron. So for for me to build a toolsmith, to build the tools, I need to have coal mine and iron mine. So coal and iron. And a hefty amount of that is going to go inside this toolsmith. So so again, think. This is you see my ass just like let's go do this, let's do this. Oh, so this is what I need. And now I have only two tools, right? Cheers, boys. Let's drink to that. And of course, this is schnapps, rakia, vodka, whatever you want. Of course, this is not water, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm like really manly. <coughs> Let's go. <laughs> Man, I talk a lot. So, uh, so again, you see that that's the balance that I was talking about. This game is really like about planning, about not rushing, about thinking, uh, uh, thinking, and 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 it's 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 it doesn't pay off to be to be just rushing straight in for something. It's too much interconnected. So let's check this. See, houses really do look really nice. Like. This is different, look at this. Different house, different house, different house. Is this the same as this one? No, it's even different. Like, really cool. Okay, let me continue. Like, really cool. And uh, as you go down, you see the, the sounds? I mean, you see, of course, right? right? Because why not? You're going to see with your eyes, right? You hear, the, uh, you hear the sounds getting louder. See? Do you hear that? That's also cool. You hear this? Like, he's actually... sawing the tree that's cool and these seagulls constantly yapping around or uh, yapping about <laughs> okay yeah so I will forget this planting upgrade for now and I think that I will actually build another forest this up because this is the next of the crucial part that I need. I need to build cru crucial and essential I'm gonna resource actually that you need and that's lumber. I'm gonna build it here and actually going to build a one house there. Okay I'm gonna build it here. I'm gonna connect it with the road. G here. And I didn't press on the road but that's impressive. Okay. And let's go here and let's go here I'm gonna build again one depot here and you can agree with the way I built or don't download the demo and show me what you got okay and I said And I'm gonna build two houses here. And I, this is a cool sound. Once you put the building, 
building down to build you you hear like 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 small thing just like it dropped cool this is cool how people look 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 at this hear hear this sound And again, did, is this a bell error again? <laughs> no, there's more layer. <laughs> man, if animals are attacking in this game, my people would be dying. Mass, it would be massacre, man. <laughs> Worst job in Jamestown, being a forester. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> So okay, yeah, you see from this panel, even even if I go in this forester's hut, not this one, when you actually need to put a people, uh, a guy here working, you see he automatically balanced it. One working here, one working here, but if you want to upgrade it here, click, because I had two from the start in this building. So I built this forester and he automatically just balanced it out. So you have each one working in each house. But I want everything full. So therefore... Okay, so this is also something that it's cool. Uh, I'm going to put this on because I like to have people... Uh, can I, can I, can I, can I? Three workers. Um, well, I, I will leave it for now. I will, I, I will leave this un, unupgraded. This building is not going to be upgraded. So, plan for the next year, mines. Next year, for sure, after the winter or even during the winter, I will see mines needs to be put in place. Why? I will see because I need to wait. You see, now I have four workers. Remember, I had three. So, one grew up, one became from young to an adult stage. Uh, so, again, it's not something that you can rush. You are depending on a lot of things. Resources, people growing up, becoming adults. So... You need to just speed it up, speed through it, time stand, but always think about your next move. So is this good or not? I don't know. Hopefully it is. We will see. Uh, hopefully it is, but we will see. Definitely we will see. Uh, probably I will build mines uh, and probably I will build, build a, a hunting lodge. That should be, let's say, a good move. With, of course, uh, building my, 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 my village. Okay. Okay, something I didn't click correctly. Click. And let's say, let's connect this. And look at my genius. Look at this straight road, man. This is exactly what I wanted. It's all in the planning, boys. Oh, your girls. Boys and girls, it's all in the planning. It's just, I have the know how, right? All my people are dying. Wait. <laughs> Man, karma is going to be instant and just stay tuned to see what's going to happen. <laughs> so okay, yeah, I will not upgrade this and now it's time for me to 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 build iron mines. Grid grid. This is a order each area. And I can build it here. Okay, and I will build one coal mine here. And I will actually put one worker.
one worker from uh, um, from sawmill because I have plenty of firewood. I will put one worker from sawmill to the mines with the other workers, which I had probably two to spend for sure. Maybe, 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 maybe two. And. Uh, I need to build the roads to connect them. <laughs> Not there. Okay. Okay, so two workers here. Boom, boom. Let's see. Oh, so cool. So two is the minimum right now. Why? Because probably carriers are carrying... You, you got this? Carriers are carrying most of the load to be carried. <laughs> Wrap your head around that. Wrap your head around that. Oh, oh, see this. Oh, that's interesting. See, same with the forester's hut. I built two of them strictly from here just to work. But in this building, because this is the industry part, right? In the profession miner. But actually, it again split them. You have another mine. So two from iron. One of them is going to go to the coal mine. So that's actually a cool thing about thinking about balance. And uh, as I said, I have plenty of firewood, so church needs money. Oh, really? And I don't, right? To tend to everyone's need of the soul, the church needs to satisfy the more material needs first. For but a modest sum of coins. Of course, I couldn't agree more. Our soul come first. The soul come first. God will take care of the rest. <laughs> That's kind of a dark way of seeing things. <laughs> no, no, no. I think, I think, I think. You see, now I didn't pay attention to the to the bar, right? To the happiness bar, and to see in which in which state is my religion bar. And I actually don't remember of my coins because how much coins do I have? And all of these mines, their their upkeep is actually coins. So, God will take care of the rest. See, it's coins upkeep. So, okay, now I have one one in industry, and I have another one since I so I'll put it here. And we should wait actually for a couple of more people to grow up. To become adults. So this is now a pretty good amount of... Uh, of resources coming in. <laughs> yeah, so next move, toolsmith. Next move, toolsmith. I have plenty of wood, I have massive amount of firewood, uh, why? Especially now, as you remember I said it in the beginning, people will use coal for cooking and for heating up their place. So firewood is now something that can actually be done with only one worker, 800 per year, with the coal that is going to be constantly spent, this is something that will be Plenty of a convict ship arrives. No, I don't want no convicts here. A ship full of convicts has arrived. Their papers bear the royal seal of approval. <laughs> of approval, man, I'm killing it. Sire, what shall we do with them? If the king wishes so, we'll take them in. No, we won't. The king can wish all he wants. Loyalty minus 20. I'm good with it. Safety will go up for five. So, loyalty minus 20. Loyalty is on 69, 69, and, <laughs> and what did we say, I don't know, 
safety is also 69. Man, that's 69. <laughs> Boys are just loving 69. I don't know why. <laughs> Not him, Laden. Not him. Bad. <laughs> so, okay, how are we with the people? We still need to wait. Okay. Is the research done? Yes, it is. I think we can now build the toolsmith. Uh, pop, pop, pop. Yeah, but again, if I build it, who will work in it? Yeah. We need to wait. And it's cool because children are actually getting... The number of children is actually going up. So this is something that is cool. You see, I have a plenty amount of firewood. I, I could even... I could even just... Just shut down sawmill for, for a certain amount of time. I can even do that. And I think I will do that. It's a calculated risk, but by the time uh, my... My people are actually... Let's build Toolsmith. Great. So it's a calculated risk, but by the time uh, firewood is going to be used, because I have a plenty, I could say some other word, but plenty is the good word also. <laughs> so by the time firewood is getting spent, my people are probably going to grow up, so I could even then I'll just put one guy inside and that's it. He's going to work again. Oh, 17. There you go. One young has become an adult. Inventory space low. Okay. Uh, I think I will build the depot here. Oh, that sound is really cool, man. When building is... Just pay attention to that sound. If needed, if, if this is going to be on YouTube, just rewind a little bit and and listen when I'm that close to the to the ground as I'm putting a building to build to get built. That sound of slow like it's cool. Not enough workers, really. Um, oh, there you go. So there's going to be a worker coming here and uh, 300 tools per year, 250, 300, 250, 300, there you go. This is something that also, no problem, they will balance it. Again, not finished game, not finished product, right? Constantly updated, go to Steam, wishlist the game if you, if you like what you see. Uh, Strength and freedom. What is this? Sire, we received a shipment of goods. The contractor who transported it does not want to or cannot say who is it from. But I'm fairly certain that accepting it will trigger the king. Nah, no, I don't want to trigger the king. No, 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 no. Loyalty minus 35. No, 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 no. Well, this can also be because of the decree. It's fifth. 50 is fifth of the 250. So 50 plus 250 because of 20%. Right? Yeah, yeah. You see construction goods? Plus 20% on all construction goods. That it includes. Is it concluding? Toolsmith and brickworks, you see? Connecting the policy increases the production in queries, coal mines, iron mines, forest that adds toolsmiths and brickworks. That means 20%. 20% is the fifth. 50 to, fifth of the 250 is 50. 250 plus 50 is 300. Man, I am such good at math. Is that why I'm broke? <laughs> 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 so
So okay, what's important that we have a balance in force this hut. This is what is important. And coal is actually getting produced. So next upgrade is actually me probably going to this production plus 15 and it's 100 and I have 10 iron so probably I'm going to do even one more upgrade so I have a hefty amount of coal produced because coal is spent constantly as you see constantly especially during the winter times so firewood still see 1631 30 so and it's December. Pay attention to that number as we are going to drop with the number of uh, firewood and as we are going to, through the winter. Because now I actually... The royal tax increases on leather. Yeah, the crown has endeavors all around the globe and it's, uh, it's the duty of each subject to help make that happen. From now, on, from now onward, the king is raising taxes on certain goods absolutely send the king out wholehearted approval leather yeah i think that's no problem leather because uh, i think if you remember on the last uh, on the last uh, event i actually chose to drop the loyalty because or i actually i oh, never mind but uh, either way even either way but even remember like the last the last event it was also like the loyalty of the king or or something else was in the balance. I'm just forgetting that stuff because I'm not thinking about it a lot. But this is loyalty plus 5 or loyalty minus 20. Uh, and leather is not something that I'm actually thinking about having as a trade item, right? So I don't care. Cheers again. Ah, that vodka is really strong. Uh, another thing that I really like to do is the for me to just considerably make upkeep less and less costly so especially because of the wood lumber right especially because of the lumber and let's see if somebody is living here. Is somebody living here? We have one. Clemens, female. A peasant and she's a forester. Cool. So Clemens is choking the bears in the woods. Is this her? Cle Clemens is kicking ass! <laughs> Boars? Boars know the name of Clements. The legend of Clements. Okay, you see, a firewood dropped for 200 and it's January. So probably I can do without any guy working in a firewood maybe for next year also. Wood is plenty, I only need money and now actually this village is slowly starting to be self-sufficient and really good operator pirate trader what my lord an independent trader independent trader right an entrepreneur <laughs> well how is he conducting business with guns <laughs> okay it's a deal <laughs> Judging by the look of their crew, <laughs> they all have suits. <laughs> they truly are independent. Really? <laughs> of what? Showers? <laughs> but more than likely, pirates as well. Really? <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. In any case, they wish to pursue purchase. Some of our goods, really dude, you want to purchase? Should I send the garrison to deal with them? No dude, they can purchase. Strawberries, lumber, loyalty and safety, yeah, for 960 coins, yeah. <laughs> because I'm a good mayor and I'm also an entrepreneur. How do you say it? I'm also a businessman. 
I think I'm gonna choose actually, I'm gonna choose 960 gold. Because I have plenty of food. Lumber is something, I think, I think that I even have 300 lumber, 200. So I'm cool. Loyalty minus 15, yeah. Never mind. So Blackbeard, take it away. You see, everything is good. Happiness, eh. Loyalty 51, eh. Safety 59, eh. Taxes 69. <laughs> Man, that's 69. It's all around me. <laughs> okay. So, but you see, remember how I how I just punched up the the coal production. And still, look at this. Still people are just going through that coal, man, like like it's food. Uh, okay. Uh, can I can I can I 17 3 Let's see. Let's see. Yep. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to have missing workers. And I don't want to, because of that, because of my greedy ass, wanting to have hefty production. I don't want my, my let's say, distribu distribution between industry and storage. I don't want that to suffer. Because I want everything to run smoothly. So I can manage without that. I can manage. Okay, so uh, now everything is, is slowly starting to be balancing really nicely. Uh, he is missing probably coal. He's probably missing coal, man. What else could he miss? So I will do optimization, right? I will definitely do optimization. So I'm actually going to use this. You see? Pirates actually help the city. This is how good of a mayor am I, man. I am doing business with all kind of people, man. Because business. Let's do business. Hey. It's business. Sire, we are receiving word of a civil unrest on, on the mainland. The people there are rioting. Probably they didn't like the business. <laughs> <laughs> the mayor is conducting. You see? That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Yeah. Should we ignore it or interfere? Uh, yeah, we will remain loyal, of course, because we have iron and and firewood. It's cool. Yeah, we can. We will we will remain uh, remain loyal to the king. <clears throat> so hefty amount of everything, man, except coal. Right, and uh, for coal, oh, oh, we have 18 people, 4 workers, so there you go! There you go! Come on. There you go! And now coal is going to be produced, and even in bigger amounts. Why? Because it's... It's springtime. And coal is not going to be used for fire. To heat up the place. Isn't that right? Oh, the Clemens. She probably choked him out, man. She choked that David out and dragged him to, his, to her cottage. <laughs> David was defenseless against the bear wrestling woman. <laughs> you go here. <laughs> Come live with me. Now time for you. So now I have good amount of coal mine being produced uh, this is also something that I will invest yeah upkeep I definitely like this upkeep thing uh, to go as lower as possible it saves you it really saves you uh, plenty of also this reduced garbage uh, if, uh, never mind that I don't have people now but upkeep is you see 120 per worker so with the reduced garbage, I'll definitely going to even go lower on this. So once a sawmill is going to be needed as native relics. This is cool. Like this events, look at this. So again, this is interesting. Uh, loyalty 15, safety minus 20, happiness 5. So again, my dumbass didn't watch this happiness bar, which actually needs to be looked every now and then, right? So... Now we will see what is this. So, native relics, right? The expansion of our city has unearthed 
An abandoned native village, right? Okay. And the graveyard, it seems... And a graveyard, it seems, or some other spiritual site. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Okay. So this is probably something that it needs to be a comma, not a, not a dot. Uh, the news has spread fast, and it seems to, and it seems both the church and the king are interested. The king, however, wants it all, while the church hopes to share the loot. Oh, really? The church is sharing? Oh, that's crazy. I don't want any of it. If the king wants it. He can send his people to collect. And half sounds fair. Let the church know we agree. Even if our people might get superstitious. Um, uh, let's choose coins again. Just to see. Because this is like. Safety is going to go down either way. You see this? So safety is gone. Happiness minus 20. Can I? Can I, I think my happiness is around 70s. So if I go here with happiness. Let's, let's, let's try this, okay? Okay, 52. Okay. We will see how this will work. And how my people are going to react. So religion is really low, so safety is kind of, yeah, 20, yeah. Luxury goods are 20, why? Because we're not producing luxury goods for peasants. So, uh, yeah. This is something that we are actually going to... Going to see how this would pan out. Uh, what else can I build? Let's say um, docks, for sure. You see that sound? Did you hear that sound? Now that's really cool, man. That's like really cool thing. Le really cool. Like for me, that's like woohoo. Okay, let me stop the game. You see even this? Like, but there is fish, man. There is fish in the baskets. Now, this is cool graphics. Look at this. Fish and nets. Fish and chips. <laughs> you see? Now, I would, I would say that even with fish and nets, you put some small little stand right next to it. Some fish and chips. You always do business. You know, you, uh, you go like this. Money all around, man. Fish and chips. You have potatoes. When Once you build that farm with potatoes, you just go all in, man. All is business, man. But look, like... Cracking aside... This this looks really cool, man. This, like... This looks really cool. And once the ships are going to go in and out, and... Uh, it's going to be cool. Yeah. Really, really. Really nice. Okay, let me let me let me put it straight because that's how I roll. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, so next, 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 next. Uh, yeah, uh, actually, next is probably <laughs> yeah exactly herbalist hut probably next. Herbalist hut for sure. Because uh, herbs are something that are used for... I'm gonna build it here, I'm gonna build it here. Actually, I may be even gonna build it just a little bit more, like here. Okay, I probably didn't build it because I didn't see something in a way, probably. There you go. I'm gonna build it here. And uh, I'm going to have people working inside because herbs are something that actually helps people. You see, gather herbs used by citizens to stay or get healthy. The more quality herbs, more quality herbs can be found in well forested areas. So actually, uh, if this forester area is going to be destroyed by me, by building down the line of this city, by building some buildings here that are actually going to be used or for residence or for industry, you just destroy this building and switch it and put it more up to the north. And that's it. You've finished. That's it. Just put it like, let's say, here somewhere. I think this is like, yeah, this is like the trees. Okay, also, uh, 
now it's maybe time for us to have fun and to decorate a little bit around the town. Okay. Hey, you see, for small park, you need herbs. So there you go. You see how everything is connected. So even if I wanted to build small parks, small parks, I couldn't until I built this. And let's see if I'm going to miss workers. Not enough workers. Damn! So, uh, you know what? Maybe I can risk it for the biscuit. Let's see. And maybe I can wait for one guy to, to, to go from young to... Oh, and I need a worker here. Okay, so now this is interesting. So now this is me not planning enough for balance, but never mind. I'm going to lead dogs. Dogs are built, never mind. Uh, I'm going to use them later on as I have hefty amount of, uh, of things to trade, of resources to trade. Let me just connect it with the road. Oh, look at me, like precision building, man. <laughs> okay, demolish buildings. There you go. It's okay. So now we wait, actually. Now we actually wait uh, for people to grow up or maybe for some event to bring me uh, bring me more, more, uh, more people in town. But I am just for, I'm, I'm, I am, let's say, in a minimum by one by one so it's not that big of a deal I think it's calculated risk from my part that I think actually is going to be oh okay not 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 big it's going to be sustainable so herbs let me just put this on a there you go all the way so I have plenty amount of herbs if this is struck It's okay, time's 10, just it's time to wait, so let's look around the map. It's, I'm just waiting for some event or for... Oh, look, a dolphin. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, there are two more. That's like really cool. Hmm. A convict ship arrives. Yoy. Man, I cannot go. Nah. Send them away. Cannot go lower with the safety. Like really. <laughs> But loyalty is also 21. Man, King is going to send the garrison. <laughs> I heard you be dealing with the pirates. <laughs> oh, again, the crap. Ooh, it disappeared. These are the shrooms. So the main question is, are these the mushrooms for eating or are these the mushrooms that actually you are running through the woods and running away from a dragon that's actually catching you? <laughs> what kind of shrooms are they? <laughs> Let's ask the herbalist. <laughs> the alarm the dragon is coming what dragon man <laughs> shut the <coughs> so yeah I mean uh, I think that even maybe because of the happiness not much kids are getting born that could also be an issue let's say right could be an issue not, not big of a safety and uh, and uh, 
Luxury goods could be also having some issues with uh, with 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 kids getting getting bored. So getting produced. <laughs> so actually, we will see how this will pan out. So for now, I'm again. I see everything is like nothing is missing. Uh, nothing is missing that much. So I can actually go through the winter. Let's put small park and let's just make a place more desirable. Uh, why? Because it allows the construction of the small park. And small small park does what? Well, he a small park. Let me pause. Beautification. A small park increases happiness in the vicinity. Click. And that's the vicinity. So let me go here let me okay okay let's just I think this is I'm going to put one here okay I think this one I think house is let's see how big of is a house let's see how big is a house so it's one here yeah and I will actually remove this clear buildings and resources demolish buildings demolish this okay oh, this is also cool sound you hear you heard this it's like the it's like the 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 planks are getting trashed around as you demolish a building that's cool so uh, again, beautification, small park. Let's put it. Let's put it. If if this is the house and this is another house, so the small park should be here. Boom. So I can build two houses in between these small parks for the future, you know. So this is actually going to upgrade my happiness, and with that, probably maybe even more. Oh, see, there you go. Two more kids. Well. Speak of the kids, two more kids. There you go. A worker is missing, but never mind. Soon, probably, the one of the young is going to become adult and is going to be transferred to whatever position is needed. So that's cool. So for now, year five. Uh, let's do a little bit more research copies yeah for now I actually need to let's say that that my next move is actually to maybe mo focus more on the people right just happiness and uh, because my production is really good so let's try to focus yeah I have plenty of food I have okay amount of lumber uh, firewood is getting used here and there because I have good amount of coal production so now I need people right I need people for my town to flourish and they are my, my next uh, they, they are my next focal point oh there are another one living here again Sith the female <laughs> she has the force because she's a sh <laughs> she's a Sith <laughs> And where is the Jedi? <laughs> It'd be so cool that her boy is named Jedi. Okay, the King's Ransom. My lord, the King's advisors has sent a list, a list of requests. No official reason has been noted, only a list. Hers minus 19. Yeah, okay, loyalty 5. I cannot, let's say, risk it for the biscuit for loyalty and everything, right? Loyalty is now 39, so yeah, I have herbs probably. Let's see, uh, stock herbs 20 so yeah I can do that oh 18 8 19 there you go I just got one adult more so workers are no more no longer needed so if I get to 20 I will probably employ one um, in a docks probably okay let me just build one small park here So they also have uh, 
Can I do it here, like here? Yeah, why not? Tools me. I shame. Like each building has its cool like graphic features, man. Like really cool. This is fully upgraded. For now, my lumber part is quite okay. Two forces was a good choice. I don't even have to upgrade it. What I need upgraded actually is probably the durable tools and durable tools here because let's save. Why not? Let's save on the upkeep how much as much as possible. Uh, no saving here. No. No, let's just check everything. No saving here and here. Let's go for two, two upgrades, okay? Cool. That's cool. So once I start producing firewood, it would not be much. See, now this is also interesting part. Like further down the line, uh, Royal tax increases, coal trade, I don't think about trading coal, okay, 16%, no problem. Uh, further down the line, um, this dynamic is going to be extremely important. Let's, say for, let's take religion, for example. If you have a lot of religious people in your village, right, and you have, and let's say you have a lot of churches in the future of your town, well, people that are actually not that much religious are not going to go to your town. This is like that social dynamics part that actually is going to be visible like really late down the game. Like once you start developing in a proper city, then, then, then events and maybe some cataclysms. I don't know what kind, but guys are cooking up at something that they're, 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 they're prancing around like witches around those pot, man. Just throwing up frog legs and bat wings and everything. <laughs> Things are going to hit the fan once they cook up something bad to happen. But certain events will make it a lot harder. Plus that social dynamics balance that you need to have. It's going to be really tricky down the line to play and to have that balance and to have a big strong city that is not actually just here for building, it's actually here to be managed, 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 properly managed. So again, uh, go to Steam, type in Patron, find the game, wishlist it, so once it's, once it's out, uh, you know, you will know, once it's finished. Download the demo that is free. It's it's capped for two hours of play, not more. In the in these two hours, you're going to see uh, everything how how the things are looking up. Same same as same. Probably you're going to go through the same things I am going through. So you know at least, at least the basics. And again, if you liked it, put a comment. Go on Discord, chat with them support the game and this is all we can ask for right all we can ask